Hello and welcome to Your Grace Daily Devotion and Broadcast. Today we're talking about bring it to them. What are we bringing to them? The gospel, the love, the grace, and the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And our text today is from Isaiah chapter number 60 in verse 4. It reads, lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you, praise God. Your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your side, praise God. You see, being part of a church is more than just attending services. By your connection and participation in that church, you are actively expanding God's kingdom in your locality. This is something that most people don't understand. The church that you attend is part of your salvation package. Your pastor is part of God's plan for your life. So it's not something that we choose. It is something that God lead us to. So you didn't choose that church. God chose it for you. He led you to that church because he knows by virtue of what he has deposited in you, the agenda that he has for that church will move forward. You see, it takes every one of us doing what we have been called to do for God's agenda, for God's purpose, for God's mandate to advance in our locality. Notice what we read, it says, they come to you. It means that you have become a magnet. You've become an oasis. Like we said yesterday, you have become a divine pandemic. God infused in you a divine life. And now he says, spread this life to everyone in your sphere of influence. It means that heal the sick, cast out the devils, raise the lame, calm their storm. Whatever that troubles them, be God's answer to their troubled world. And that's what it means to be reconciled to God. And now he has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. And for us to be effective in that ministry of reconciliation, he gave us pastors and he planted us in the church. Now, I want to read something to you. This will interest you. Ephesians chapter number four. Now, if you read from verse 11 through verse 13, the Bible tells us that God gave us ministers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry. You see, the, the minister has been anointed to train us for the work of the ministry. The work of the ministry is to bring the love, the presence, the glory, and to display the authority that is in the name of Jesus in healing the sick and, 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 and everything else that troubles them. That's what it means to participate. So, you are, like I mentioned before, just being part of a church is, is more than, oh, I, I go there and the word is great, the worship is awesome. No. You are brought in to be trained so you can go back and change your word. And that's what the gospel is all about. You were, you were oh boy, I like this. You were apprehended so you can apprehend others in the gospel of Jesus Christ. I mean, you are incarcerated in the victory of Christ. You, you are locked up in God's divine glory for the rest of your life. I mean, there's a life sentence on your life. Success, place the life sentence on you, glory to God. And not just so we can be excited, but all of that is so we can bring it to others. We can tell others, listen, you can be free. You can have peace, you can have joy, you can have victory. Look at what the Lord has done in my life. You too, you can experience the same liberty, the same freedom, the same healing, the same deliverance that I got. And that's what the devotion is talking about today. Take this message, take it to your word. Tell others what the Lord has done in your life. Bring it to them. Bring the victory of Jesus to them. Bring all that Jesus has done. Bring it to the people of the world. And because this is so vital, because this is so 
in God's perfect will for your life. Get to know the Holy Spirit. Ask Him, what will you want me to do today? If this is what you've called me to do, I want to be effective in it. What do you want me to say today? What do you want me to do today? And anything that the Holy Spirit tells you to do, do it quickly. So glad to share God's word with you today. Remember, you are anointed to, to bring the presence, the grace, the love, the kindness, the mercy, and the liberty that we all have in Christ Jesus to those who don't have it. God bless you.